Today we're going to talk about the rename function on the M extension toolbar. And I'm going to show you how to use this function to release a part of the product into production because most of the times I don't have enough time to develop the project fully. I've been pushed to get drawings out as fast as possible, but I'm not ready to, to release all the, the project and I don't have part number for all the, the items. I do, however, want to start it, so I'm going to try and put a part number and make some drawings and get it into production. I've used this tool a million times and along with the part numbering uh, function, it just saved thousands and thousands of hours that I would have probably wasted in renaming the models, renaming the drawings, resolving the links and so on and so on. This function does it all by itself. So, all right, enough talk. Let me just show you my project. I'm gonna try and release the tank cover. That's not gonna change, that's definite, that's, that's final. So for that, I'm gonna open it, but as you'll see, I'm gonna open it from the assembly and keep the assembly open, the master project file open, because the rename function will not only rename the model, rename all the drawings, but will also keep all the links in between the drawings and the parts and the assembly and in the whole project. So we open the, the model and click on rename on the M extension toolbar. There's a short description of the function, we click next. And I'm gonna filter for just the parts that I have in my project, meaning I don't wanna rename all the content center parts, I don't wanna rename all the library files. So what I'm gonna do is put a filter on all the parts um, that have inventor in the file path. If you, if you can see my file path is inventor drawing, so all the models inside inventor drawings will be filtered. So let's make a new condition. All the file contains inventor. Okay, as you can see it filtered and it's only my normal parts that I have. I could also use a filter probably on boom structure and just filter for normal parts, not purchased and not phantom, but this will do as well. Now I like Excel and I like the behavior, I mean, I like that I can copy paste from inside this window, any window of the M extension toolbar into Excel and vice versa. So I'm going to copy everything in my part number and description into Excel. Now I already know what the part number would be for this sub-assembly, so I'm just going to type it in and use the power of Excel to automatically number the rest of the models. Now, let me copy all my part numbers and let's go back to EM extension. So we're gonna paste it over the part number and paste it into the new name. So it'll rename all the models to, to the part numbers we brought from Excel. We click apply and then we wait. Now here we go. Here's the information window. It tells us that 10 documents were renamed and 5 properties were modified. Now why is it that 10 documents were renamed? Well because it renamed not only the files, I mean the models in here, 1, 2, 5, but also the drawings. So that's why it renamed and linked the drawings back to the models. So we have 10 files that were renamed and 5 properties that were modified. Obviously it was the part number. So 5 part numbers were modified and 10 documents were renamed. Let's close this window and let's take a look at the assembly. In the browser you will see that the occurrence name has changed. It now contains the part number and the description. So all the models were not only renamed and changed the part number, but they were, they were also renamed inside the browser here. Let's take a look at the workspace and see what happened in there, where all the files are. As you can see, I have a lot of files with the original name and 
also my files that were renamed. I have the assembly when it's drawing, and then all the models with, with, it, with, with their drawing. Let's open a drawing and see what happened in there. The part number has changed, and the project number. Now let's take a look at the assembly, the one that we left open. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's update the model. Let's take a look at the properties of the lid that we just modified. Oh, the file name is changed. Yes, we've seen that in the workspace. So now I have one set of drawings. I mean, part of the project ready. I can send this to fabrication, you know, while I work on the, on the rest. I would have probably lost an hour or so just renaming the files manually. And, and I don't like to think about part numbers when I create the models. I just want to create the model and do a prototype and then worry about the part number and renaming the files right at the end when I'm ready. Because most of the times I restructure the assembly and I move things around and decide to weld these and break these and into bolted components and so on. So using the part number right at the beginning is not always useful. All right, try it out and let me know how is it working for you. I will try and post a more detailed video of this function. And I know you can you can rename them all in Vault, but I don't want to upload a lot of garbage in my Vault. You can do it with iLogic Design Copy, but it doesn't maintain the links. And you can use Design Assistant, but it, it also doesn't rename the drawings. So you'll see, this is a huge productivity tool. I probably won at least four hours a week by using it.